Well, hi guys, this is Aaron Ninson with Tech in the Dark. Today I wanted to show you the Blue Yeti microphone. This is what I use on all my podcasts at http colon slash slash signal to noise at dot podbean dot com. That's S I G N A O T O N O I S E dot podbean dot com. P O D B E A N dot C O M. Go and check that out. I have a whole bunch of podcasts on uh, on a whole bunch of different tech related topics, demos and reviews of different products and how to so go and check that out. And this is the Blue Yeti microphone, what I think about it, what I like about it, and what I don't like about it. Now let's get to the likes. This microphone is perfect for the money. You can find it on Amazon for 99 bucks. That's why I picked it up. It's a great buy. This whole thing is aluminum so it's it's very heavy I have traveled with it a few times and um, it does take up a lot more uh, room it does feel a lot more bulkier than my laptop actually on the front here you have the blue logo with a mute button and a volume switch on the bottom you do have the uh, micro USB port, the three headed mount, two mounted on a tripod, and also the three and a half millimeter no latency monitoring jack. Around the back, you do have a couple of ports here. This is the gain slider, which I have marked with puff paint to tell me um, where that uh, selector is at. Then you have your volume, uh, your different pattern controls here. The first one is a stereo which it's the sides of these right and left this is it has a three pattern a three uh, three mics in it the next one is cardioid which it only picks up I'm sorry omnidirectional which it picks up all the way around the next one is cardioid which only picks up in the front and the next one is uh, bi-directional, which picks up a lot in the front as well. So one thing that I don't like about it is these knobs here. These knobs just, I mean, when I'm trying to put it, pull it down, they tighten. And when I try to pull it up, they loosen. So I've got to go and, and uh, make adjustments and... and I'll show you. It's hard to get off. It's very hard to get off. And you can almost have to twist it. They have these little, I'll show you, little brackets and nuts in here. And it's kind of annoying to get this thing off and get it back on. So there it is off. There's the base. When I'm talking about these nuts, I'm meaning, meaning these right here. These are a pain in the butt. They get they drop off of these these um, screws here, and then the screws even have nuts as well. So you have to keep a hold of these. You know, make sure that they don't roll around it's just it's just a pain in the butt to get these installed correctly and to get the mic installed um, so I do keep it on the base as much as I can and then you know with getting it on and off of the mic stand you do have um, some residual stuff left on there I don't know if you can see that on the camera but it's there, so that's kind of a miss. And then getting this back on is just to see that's what I mean about the the uh, these little dinky things here. Kind of in the way, really. But you know, getting this in thing installed is. 
you know, I gotta find the right hole and everything. And that can be a challenge in itself. Let's see if I can find it. And see, that's what I mean, those little things fall off. So those nut things fell off and the, the whole right side came off, so let me see if I can find those. So that whole right side just, and the whole left side decided to come off. I found it, but it's a bit annoying to get on here. And I don't like this system at all. I'm actually thinking about getting another tripod mount just to keep it mounted on the, th on the thread. Although this is a good stand, you know, it just, it just with all the problems, not the mic itself, but the stand with having to be screwed in and stuff, it's just, it's, it's, it's annoying. It, it really is annoying. Um, you know, so that's one of the reasons I don't like it. But, you know, anyways, it's, overall, it's a very good mic. Um, I do get very good, very good quality out of it. You can check out the podcast, Signal to Noise. Again, that's http colon slash slash signal to noise dot podbean dot com. That'll be in also in the description below here. I'll have that link. You can check out the quality of it. And I do enjoy it. I do love it. Um, I do use it all the time. Um, it's very good for Skype calls. I do use it for that a lot. So, you know, overall, I do like the mic. Um, it's got a very good build quality to it, as I said. And it's a very good USB mic. So, you know, as I said, you know, there is some cons to it. But the cons definitely aren't as bad um, as the pros. The pros are pretty awesome. Uh, so this has been a review of the Blue Yeti microphone, give this a thumbs up if you like what you saw. Also, leave a comment down below. And tell me what you'd like to see in the next video. So I'll be getting my Mac here really shortly, I hope, within a couple months. And I'll be doing a lot of videos on that. Uh, with that, and a lot of comparison videos between the Mac and the PC. So this has been Aaron Linson with Tech in the Dark, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See y'all later.